Hello students, now let's start a new chapter, Laws of Indices, okay? But before we proceed to solve the questions from this chapter, let us understand the rules of indices, okay? Please take the screenshot of these rules. This is going to be very, very helpful to solve the questions from this chapter, okay? Now, take the screenshot of this. I'll explain one by one, okay? Here we have a to the power 0 equals to 1, which means anything to the power 0 equals to 1 except 0, okay? 0 to the power 0 is undefined. 0 to the power 0 is undefined. 0 to the power 0 is undefined. Other than 0, anything to the power 0 is 1. a to the power 0 is equal to 1. x to the power 0 equals to 1. 2 to the power 0 equals to 1. 5 to the power 0 equals to 1. Any number raised to power 0 equals to 1. Okay. Any number raised to power 0 means the value becomes 1. Except 0. 0 to the power 0 is not equal to 1. Please remember this, 0 to the power 0 is undefined. Other than 0, any number raised to power 0 is equal to 1. We must keep this in mind, okay? This is very, very helpful to solve the question from these chapters. Okay? Now, let us move to the next one. a to the power m, whole to the power m equal to a to the power m n. a to the power m, whole to the power n equal to a to the power m n, isn't it? Let us suppose the value of m equal to... 2 and the value of n equal to 3 okay suppose a to the power m means a to the power 2 whole to the power n means n means 3 this gives us a to the power m n isn't it 2 3 the 6 okay this means a to the power m to the power n means a to the power m n the power can be multiplied like this 2 3 the 6 this is the second rule i hope you got this now let us move on to the third rule. The third rule is a to the power m into a to the power n equal to a to the power m plus n, isn't it? If the base are same, then the power will be added. Let me give an example. If m equal to 2 and n equal to 3, okay? Then in this case, a to the power 3 into a to the power 2 a cube into a square base are same isn't it a a so their power will be add, added 3 plus 2 that will be a to the power 5 okay if the base are same then the power will be added in case of multiplication i hope you got this but if the number is like this a square into b cube here the power will not be added because their bases are different. In this case, a square into b square will remain separate, b cube will remain separately because the bases are different, isn't it? I hope you got this. Now let us move to the next rule. Okay. The next rule is a to the power n divided by a to the power n equal to a to the power n minus n. a to the power m divided by a to the power n equal to a to the power m minus n. This means a to the power m divided by a to the power n is it equals to a to the power m minus n. Divide means a to the power m divided by a to the power n equals to a to the power m minus n. Which means when the when the number is in the denominator the sign of the power changes if you bring to the numerator, okay? This means, first let me explain this. Let me explain this. a to the power m, whole to the power, a whole upon a to the power m, isn't it? This gives us a to the power m into a to the power minus m, okay? When you take the number from denominator to the numerator, the sign of the power changes. If this is plus, then this becomes minus, like this. If this is minus, this becomes plus. If you take any number from the denominator to the numerator, the sign of the power changes. Similarly, if you take any number from the numerator to the denominator, the sign of the power changes. Okay, this should be kept in mind. Now, here we have the base same, isn't it? A into A. From the first rule, we know that if the bases are same, then the 
powers will be added but here n is negative so in m plus n this gives us this gives us a to the power m plus minus n isn't it the power will be added isn't it because the bases are same so a to the power m plus into minus gives minus n isn't it i hope you got this when you what i'm trying to explain is when you take the number from denominator to numerator the power the sign of the power changes okay if it is plus then it becomes minus if it is minus then it becomes plus similarly if you take the number of the numerator to the denominator the power changes the sign of the power changes okay now let's move on to the next one a b whole to the power m equal to a b whole to the power m equal to a to the power m into b to the power m this m the power m is for both the numbers a and b so suppose m is 2 okay if the value of m equals to 2 then if a b whole to the power 2 equals to a is a star into b star since the bases are different so the power will not be added a star into b star will remain separately okay now let us move on to the next one a by b whole to the power m a by b whole to the power m equals to a to the power m whole to the power b to the power m all upon b to the power m since both a and b are within the bracket and m is outside the bracket isn't it the power is outside the bracket so this power applies to both a and b okay a to the power m upon b to the power m that's my point okay now let us move to the last one a square is if the number is squared then if you change this square into number square root into number then it becomes one upon two if this is cube root okay instead of two number is a if this is cube root of a then it will become a to the power one upon three if this is fifth root of a then this becomes a to the power one upon five okay the square root of a one upon two cube root of a a to the power one upon three fifth root of a a to the power one upon five sixth root of <laughs> sixth root of a a to the power one upon six isn't it i hope you got this now let us go to exercise and solve the questions from there we will understand this rules better when we solve them. okay let's do question number one one Fifth root of 8 whole to the power 5 upon 2 into 16 whole to the power minus 3 upon 2. We are asked to find the value, okay? We are asked to simplify this. This is very, very simple. Fifth root of 8 means 8 whole to the power 1 upon 5, isn't it? Since I told you earlier, fifth root of A, if the number is fifth root of A, then it becomes A to the power 1 upon 5, isn't it? So, fifth root of 8 means 8 to the power 1 upon 5, whole to the power 5 upon 2, isn't it? 5 upon 2. Into 16 means 2 to the power 4, okay? 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. So, 2 to the power 4 means 16, whole to the power minus 3 upon 2, okay? Now, we have this 5 is in the denominator and this 5 in, is in the numerator so n into n isn't it so this can be multiplied so this means this denominator and numerator can be cancelled okay 5 and 5 can be cancelled so 8 means 2 cube isn't it 8 means 2 cube whole to the power this one is in the numerator whole upon 2 is in the denominator okay this 3 is in the numerator keep this in mind 2 cube, 8 cube means 2 cube, 3 is in the numerator, 3 ones are 3 and this 1 upon 2, 2 is in the denominator, okay, into, now 4 is in the numerator and 2 is in the denominator, okay, 2 ones are 2, 2 two are 4, this can be cancelled, so this gives us 2 is in the numerator and minus 3 is also in the numerator, this gives us 2 to the power minus 2 3 is 6, okay, 2 3 is 6. 
a to the power m whole to the power n isn't it a to the power m whole to the power n means a to the power m n this powers are multiplied isn't it so m into n 2 3 is a 6 the sign comes here minus okay now we have 3 1s are 2 to the power 3 1s are 3 upon 2 into 2 to the power minus 6 isn't it so now the base are same 2 and 2 so their powers will be added so 2 to the power 3 upon 2 plus this minus 6 so plus into minus becomes minus 6 isn't it so we have 1 in the denominator equals to 2 to the power I'll say what 2 and 1 is 2 so 1 3 is a 3 minus 2 6 is a 12 let me do here so 2 to the power 3 minus 12 is minus 9 isn't it so this 2 comes in the denominator so this is the answer 2 to the power minus 9 upon 2 is the answer for question number 1 okay, okay now let's do question number 2 this is the question so if this minus 1 whole to the power 6 is for both the numbers this and this isn't it so if a b whole to the power m then you can write a to the power m into b to the power m isn't it i'm just trying to say this minus 1 upon 6 power is for both the numbers like m is for both the number you can separately write like this isn't it so i'm going to write this minus 1 upon 6 separately for both the numbers okay i hope you're getting me now 1 upon 25 1 upon 25 uh, sorry 1 125 okay not 1 upon 25 okay 125 minus 2 into minus 1 upon 6 isn't it minus 1 upon 6 minus 1 upon 6 this into 16 whole upon minus 3 by 2 into minus 1 upon 6 isn't it I wrote this minus 1 upon 6 here also here also like a to a b whole to the power m means a to the power m into b to the power m okay now 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 isn't it so 125 means 5 cube isn't it 5 cube so minus into minus this minus into minus is plus plus 1 so 3 1s are is 3 okay 125 cube. I hope you are getting me. 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6, isn't it? 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. So minus into minus is plus, plus 1 into this 3. This 3 is from 125 cube. 5 cube is 125. So 3 1s are 3. Into, into, we have 1 upon 3 here, isn't it? 1 upon 3. This 3 should not be forgotten. Into, so now this is. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. So 16 means 2 to the power 4, isn't it? Into minus into minus is plus. So minus into minus is plus. We don't need to write sign plus. 1 into 1 is 1 upon 2, 2 is 4, isn't it? So this 4 and this 4 can be cancelled, and this 3 and this 3 can be cancelled. So 5 to the power 1, 5 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 1 isn't it so 5 to the power 1 means 5 and 2 to the power 1 means 2 5 into 2 is 10 isn't it this is the answer for question number 2 okay question number 3 we have 4 to the power 1 upon 3 into 2 to the power 1 upon 3 <laughs> okay let's do this 2 square isn't it 2 square 2 square is 4 so that 2 into 1 is 2 this can be written as 2 upon 3 isn't it 2 squared, that is squared, 2 into 1 is 2, upon this 3 comes in the denominator. Into, we have 2 to the power 1 by 3, into 3 to the power 1 by 2, divided by 9 can be written as 3 squared into 1 by 4, isn't it? 9 is 3 squared, so this 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 here. So this 2 and this 2 same isn't it the bases are same power can be added so 2 to the power 2 upon 3 here a to the power m into a to the power n if the bases are same then the power can be added a to the power m plus n isn't it 
so 2 and 2 base same so power 2 upon 3 and 1 upon 3 should be added 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 now into we have 3 1 upon 2 isn't it so this divide means this goes down so 3 2 under 2 2 to the 4 1 upon 2 isn't it 3 whole 1 upon 2 3 2 under 2 2 to the 4 1 into 1 is 1 this 2 is here divide means it goes to the denominator isn't it 3 whole 1 upon 2 3 whole 1 upon 2 both are same number in the numerator and denominator so let's cancel them okay now we have 2 3 3 LCM 3 here we have 2 plus 1 equals to oh, equals to 2 this is 1 so we need not write 1 this into 1 is this itself so no need to write 1 3 whole to the power 2 plus 1 is 3 and this 3 and 3 get cancelled so 2 to the power 1 isn't it now 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 1 means 2 I hope you got this this is the answer for question number 3 let's do question number 1 of 2 okay simplify this 2 upon 3 power is for both the numbers 8 a cubed and 27 actions for minus 3 here minus 2 upon 3 this power is for both the numbers okay as we know that a upon b whole to the power m means a to the power m and b to the power m separately this m is for both the numbers so this can be written separately like this okay isn't it now let's do this is very very easy okay now what we do is let us write 2a cube means 8a cube means 2a whole cube okay 2a whole cube 2 cubed is 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 and a cubed is a cubed okay divided by this 27 can be written as 3 this x the sign of x sorry the power of x is minus 3 if you take this x to the denominator the sign of the power changes to plus 3 x cubed isn't it so this 3 cubed is 27 and x cubed is x cubed so this can be written as whole cubed whole to the power 2 upon 3 i hope you are getting this 3 cubed 3 cubed is 27 isn't it 3 cubed is 27 3 3 is 9 9 3 is 27 x to the power minus 3 if you take to the denominator it becomes actual x cube isn't it this x cube is for both the numbers this and this okay now here also let us do 64 means 4a whole cubed isn't it 64 means 4a whole cubed in, because 4 into 4 into 4 is 64 4 for the 16 16 for the 64 so a cubed okay divided by here we have 27 this means 3 and x to the power minus 3 means x cube x cube so a cubed minus uh, a cubed upon b cubed can be written as a upon b whole cubed isn't it like a to the power m upon b to the power m m can be written as a by b whole to the power m similarly 27 is written as 3 x cubed is written as x whole cubed okay now this cube is for both the numbers 3 cubed means 27 x cubed means x cube x cube okay this x is in the denominator isn't it so this is minus 2 upon 3 now this 2 upon 3 is for both the numbers i already told you so let's bring this for both the numbers 2a whole cubed into 2 upon 3 divided by 3 upon x whole cubed into 2 upon 3 isn't it 2 upon 3 is for both the numbers 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 okay into this is one number into here we have 4a cubed 4a cubed isn't it 4a cubed into minus 2 upon 3 this minus 2 upon 3 divided by 3 upon x 3 upon x whole cubed into minus 2 upon 3 isn't it 
this minus 2 upon 3 goes to 4a cube also here and to this number also here okay because the bracket closed now we have 3 and 3 can be cancelled here 3 and 3 can be cancelled so this 3 and 3 can be cancelled and this 3 and 3 can also be cancelled now we have 2a square isn't it so 2 square is 4 a square is a square so here we have divided isn't it so divided by 3 square 3 square is 9 and x squared is x squared now I'm putting separately to both the numbers okay this is square 3 squared is 9 so x squared is x squared into here we have 4 4 a to the power minus 2 isn't it so this can be written as 1 upon 4 a whole square are you getting me 4 a whole is whole to the power minus 2 4 a whole to the power minus 2 so if I take this 4 a to the denominator this minus 2 becomes plus 2 divided by 3 upon x to the power minus 2 so if I take x upon 3 this x goes to the numerator 3 comes to the denominator sign of the power changes to plus 2 3 the sign the sign of the power of 3 is minus 2 if you take to the denominator it becomes plus 2 here the sign of the power of x is minus 2 if you take x to the numerator the sign of the power changes to plus 2 isn't it now we have this equals to 4a square divided can be converted into and this x square go to the numerator upon 9 into 1 upon 4a square isn't it 1 upon 4a square this divides division sign can be written as into now 3 squared is 9 3 squared is 9 9 goes to the numerator x squared is x squared this comes to the denominator when it changes this division sign into multiplication sign, 3 squared 9 goes to the numerator, x squared comes down to the denominator. Now this x squared and x squared cancels out, 4, 4a squared and 4a squared can be cancelled out. So this 9 and 9 can be cancelled out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we have 4a squared. 4a squared means, 4 square means 16a squared, isn't it? 4a squared means, 4 square means 16a squared means a squared. So a square and a square can be cancelled. 4 1s are 4, 4 4 are 16. Okay. So we have 1. In the numerator we have 1. In the denominator we have 4. Okay. This is the answer for question number 1. Uh, 2 of 2. Okay. This is very very simple. If a to the power m whole to the power n whole to the power suppose c. Then what happens is a to the power m into n into c m and c okay power just multiplies okay now let us see here x minus 5 into plus 2 minus 5 into plus 2 is minus 10 minus 10 into minus 3 isn't it first let us multiply the sign okay minus into plus is minus and that minus into this minus is plus so no need to write plus 5 2 is a 10 10 3 is a 13 the power is 13 in the numerator so in the denominator we have 3 and 10 isn't it here we have 1 1 in the denominator of 5 so 1 into 3 is 3 3 into 10 is 30 so 30 this gives us 30 30 cancels out x to the power 1 isn't it this gives us x to the power 1 means x so this is the answer Super easy, isn't it? For 3 of 2, same thing. If a to the power m whole to the power n whole to the power k, then what we do is a m and a to the power m into n into k, okay? This becomes a to the power m into n into k. The power will be multiplied like just the just before we did the sum of same similar category isn't it now let's do this so we have minus 
we have to multiply all the powers isn't it so minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus so the power is plus so 1 into 1 1 1 into 1 1 into 1 1 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 1 means 2 number 4 of 2 okay we have cube root of a to the power minus 2 isn't it this means here we have cube root of a okay this means a to the power 1 upon 3 isn't it cube root of a means a to the power 1 upon 3 isn't it so what we do is Q root of a to the power minus 2 means a to the power minus 2 into 1 upon 3. Okay? Because cube root means 1 upon 3. Into b. This is b. Okay? Into cube root of b to the power minus 2 means b to the power minus 2 b to the power b to the power minus 2 into 1 upon 3. This 1 upon 3 is cube root. Okay? Into c into cube root of c to the power minus 2 means c to the power minus 2 into 1 upon 3 into a so now <coughs> here we have a to the power minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 upon 3 isn't it into b into b minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 upon 3 into c into c minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 upon 3 into a now since we know that if bases are same if a into a a means what their powers are 1 1 isn't it? if the bases are same then a into a will become a star power will be added if the bases are same then the power will be added if a square into a cube a square into a cube a to the power 5 Five because the, the base is a here and here also the base is a. If the bases are same, then when you multiply the number, the power will be added. Okay. So we have here a to the power minus two upon three and here a, isn't it? So let us add this power of these two numbers. Here the base is a and here the base is a. So the power will be added minus two upon three. Let me write more clearly. Okay minus 2 upon a to the power minus 2 upon 3 plus here we have power 1 okay into b now the turn of b comes minus 2 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 plus here the power of b is 1 isn't it so 1 this b and b came now this 2 into c to the power minus 2 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3 plus here the power of c is 1 isn't it so 1 now there is 1 in the denominator a to the power the lcm of 3 and 1 is 3 isn't it so 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 plus 3 ones are 3 into b to the power here also we have 1 the lcm of 3 and 1 is 3 so 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 plus 3 ones are 3 into c to the power here also we have 1 lcm of 3 and 1 is 3 so 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 plus 3 ones are 3 so here we have a to the power 3 plus 3 minus 2 is 1 a to the power 1 upon 3 isn't it plus 3 minus 2 opposite sign the number will subtract 3 minus 2 is 1 the sign of greater number comes that is 1 1 upon 3 1 upon 3 1 upon 3 into b to the power here also plus 3 minus 2 1 upon this 3 into c to the power 1 upon 3 isn't it a to the power 1 upon 3 into b to the power 1 upon 3 into c to the power 1 upon 3. This can be written as a, b, their powers are same, isn't it? 1 upon 3. So this can be written as a, b, c whole to the power 1 upon 3. Their powers are same, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 3. So we can write a, b, c whole to the power 1 upon 3. So this means cube root of a, b, c, isn't it? 
1 upon 3 means cube root, so cube root of ABC. So this is the answer for question number 4, okay? Okay, now let us do question number 5 of 2, okay? Let us simplify this. 4 means 2 to the power 2, isn't it? 2 squared. So, into m plus 1 upon 4. Okay? This m plus 1 upon 4 is for 4. So, this 2 squared should multiply, this 2 should multiply both the numbers. We must keep this in mind. Into, this can be written as 2 and 2 base are same so power can be added 2 to the power m plus 1 isn't it 2 to the power m plus 1 here the power of 2 is 1 so 2 and 2 are same the bases are same the power m and 1 will be added 2 to the power m plus 1 and the square root means 1 upon 2 so this can be written as 2 to the power m plus 1 upon 2 Square, square root means 1 upon 2, isn't it? So, let us put 1 upon m whole, whole upon 2 here. 2 to the power 1 into 2 to the power minus m upon 2. This is minus m, minus m. The square root means up 1 upon 2. This 2 comes with the numerator, okay? Now here we have this 2 and this 2 are same, so their power should be added, isn't it? So 2, 2 into m, 2m plus 2 1 the 2 upon 4 plus m plus 1 upon 2, m plus 1 upon 2. This 2 and 2 are same, so same base means power will be added. This power is this and this power is this, okay? 2 into m, 2m, 2 1 the 2. I hope you are getting it. In the denominator we have 2 and 2. Same base, so power will be added. 2 whole to the power 1 minus m by 2. Isn't it? 1, this is like this. 2 to the power 1 plus minus m by 2, isn't it? Power will be added. Here the power is 1, 1 plus minus m by 2. This power is minus m by 2. So 2 to the power 1, 1, this one is 1, plus into minus is minus m by 2. m by 2. Okay? <coughs> Whole to the power 1 upon m, isn't it? So let's check out 2 1 the 2, 2 to the 4. Let me do this from here, okay now? Here we have 2, let us assume 1 here, okay, 2, 2 to the power 2m plus 2m plus 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 plus, plus m plus 1 upon 2, m plus 1 upon 2, isn't it? whole upon 2 to the power let us take the LCM 1 LCM of 1 and 2 is 2 2 1 the 2 minus 1 into m is m whole to the power 1 upon m isn't it so this gives us let us take the LCM of 1 2 and 2 2 to the power 1, 2 and 2, LCM is 2. So in the numerator, 1, 2 is a 2, the 2 into 2 is 4M plus 2, 1 is a 2, that 1 into 1 is 1 plus 2, 1 is a 2, 1 into M plus 1 is M plus 1, isn't it? In the denominator we have 2 to the power 2 minus M upon 2 whole to the power 1 upon M. Or this gives us 2, 4m plus m is, 4m plus m is 5m, isn't it? 5m, 1 plus 1 is 2, upon 2. 
now this 2 and 2 same base so you take the number to the numerator the sign of the power changes and adds up with this isn't it so minus 2 minus m upon 2 okay whole to the power 1 upon m this number 2 whole to the power 2 minus m upon 2 when taken to the numerator it becomes minus 2 minus m whole upon 2 and 2 and 2 base same so their power will be added so here we have 2 and LCM of 2 and 2 is 2 so 5m plus 2 minus 2 plus m isn't it minus 2 minus and plus is minus 2 minus and minus is plus m whole to the power 1 upon m please take the screenshot and erase this okay so this gives us plus 2 and minus 2 can be cancelled 5m plus m is 6m, isn't it? 2 to the power 5m plus m is 6m, 6m upon 2, upon 2 into 1 upon m, 1 upon m. This m and this m can be cancelled. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. This gives us 2 cube. 2 cube means 8, isn't it? So this is the answer for question number 4. Question number 5. Okay, this is the answer for question number 5. Okay, let us do question number 6 of 2. Okay, 9 to the power minus 1 upon 3. This gives 1 upon 9 cube. Power is negative in the numerator, so we take to the we take the number to the denominator, the power changes to positive. Okay, into 16 to the power 1 upon 4 means 2 to the power 4 into 1 upon 4. 2 to the power 4 means 16. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. So 2 to the power 4 means 16. Into 1 upon 4, this 1 upon 4. Into 6 minus 6, whole to the power minus 2 means 6 is square. 6 was in the denominator and the power was minus 2. You take to the numerator, power changes to plus 2. So this is into, so 27 is in the denominator and the power is minus 4 upon 3. So you take 27 to the numerator, the power changes to plus 4 upon 3. And 27 means 3 cubed, isn't it? 27 means 3 cubed. So this is 4 upon 3. Okay. So 1, we, we need not consider 1. 1 to the power anything is 1. 1 to the power 1 is 1. 1 to the power 2 is 1. 1 to the power minus 1 equals to 1 upon 1. That is 1, isn't it? 1 to the power minus 2 equals to 1 upon 1 square, that means 1. 1 to the power anything is 1, so 1 to the power minus 4 upon 3 is also 1. So forget about 1. 27, you take to the numerator, means this sign of the power minus 4 upon 3 changes to plus 4 upon 3. 27 means 3 cube, okay? Now let's cancel this 3 and this 3, this 4 and this 4. So, 1 upon 9 cube, 9 cube means 9 cubed means 9 into 9, 81, 81 into 9, isn't it? So let us write 81 into 9 for the time being. Into, this is 2, into 6 square is 36, into 3 to the power of 4 means 81, isn't it? 3 into 3, 9, 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 81. That is why I didn't multiply here. This 81 and this 81 can be cancelled. 9 1 is 9, 9 4 is 36. So this gives us 1 into 2 is 2, 2 into 4 is 8. I hope you got this. Question number 7 of 2, okay? Here we have x upon a whole upon x upon b. This means x, this x and x bases are same. So you take x to the numerator. The sub sign of the power changes so this means a minus b isn't it this can be written as a minus b a minus b x and x a so power subtracts so this x a minus b into here we have a square plus a b plus b square similarly into here also we can do that x to the power you take plus c to the x to the power c to the numerator it becomes x to the power minus c 
and so the bases are same so x to the power b minus c then b minus c b square plus bc plus c square into here also same thing x to the power c minus a into c square plus c a plus a square i hope you are getting me now since we know that a cube minus b cube equal to a square sorry a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square okay this is the formula for a cube minus b cube a cube minus b cube is a minus b whole a square minus plus a b plus b square so this is a minus b plus a square plus a b plus b square this can be written as x to the power a cube minus b cube into this x here a is b and b is c okay a minus b a square plus b a b plus b square is the name so a cube minus b cube so into here also x to the power a minus b plus a sorry a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square isn't it so a cube minus b cubed isn't it a cubed minus b cubed so here we have x x x the bases are same that means power should be added power should be added isn't it x to the power a cube minus b cubed this power plus b cubed minus c cubed plus this power c cubed minus a cubed okay so plus a cubed and minus a cubed cancel minus b cubed plus b cubed cancel minus c cubed plus c cubed cancel this means x to the power zero isn't it so x to the power zero means oh sorry x to the power zero means one okay anything to the power 0 is 1 except 0 to the power 0 is not 1 0 to the power 0 is undefined other than 0 anything to the power 0 is 1 okay remember this so the answer for question number 7 is 1